Problem 21. What is the area of the triangle formed by the following lines? So when it, when you have a bunch of lines, like don't try to do it all in your head, right? Just, just graph it out. Um, I'm having a very hard time drawing a line. But anyway, this is good enough, right? So I have this. Y is equal to 5. So that's Y is equal to 5 right here. Y is equal to 5. We also know that Y is equal to 1 plus X, so X plus 1. So in other words, it's the Y is equal to X graph, but you just shift it up by 1. So it's like right here. Doesn't have to be perfect, just give yourself a rough rough idea. So you have this, and we also know y is negative x plus 1. So y is negative x plus 1. Well, that's just y is equal to negative x, which is this line right here. But then you shift it up by 1. So that should, so we have to extend it out, I guess. So it must look something like this. Right, and we're trying to find this area right here. So to do that, we can do coordinate geometry. And I think that would be the easiest one here, so let's do that. Or rather... This is our this is our this is a triangle where we can find the height in the base. So let's just find the height in the base. What is this intersection point right here? Well, x plus one must equal to negative x plus one, right? So in other words, two x is equal to zero. X must be equal to zero. So when x is equal to zero, it's equal to one. That should be a plus one. Um, so this is this point right here is zero comma one. What about this point? Well, that's when y is equal to five. So this must be um, four comma five. And this point right here is when negative x plus one. Is equal to is equal to five, so that means x must be equal to negative four. So this is negative four, comma five. So four comma five and negative four comma five. Well, this base, right, the base of the triangle is four minus negative four, and that's equal to eight. What is the height? Well, the height is from um, y is equal to one all the way to y is equal to five. So the height is equal to four. So we can solve it. That's base times height divided by two, which is equal to four times four, which is sixteen. That is answer choice E.